Find some nice small rock, but I'll tie them in right here. Make that nice. Once we feel the edge, then we work on the middle. She get some right in here if you need. Um, well, the Kohala Center was asked to organize volunteers to take care of um, Kahalu Bay. And the um, tsunami presented us with an unexpected opportunity. On March 11th, we uh, experienced a devastating tsunami, as we all know that inundated yeah. Kahalu Beach right. Park. It actually um, inundated our pond with sand and rock walls. Today we're building and restoring an ancient pond, but basically we're building a public safety perimeter wall today. The inside of the pond is actually the Vaikua Ala Loko uh, bathing pond for Ali'is. Uh, in my dad's days, the konohiki of this place uh, raised this beautiful um, anai or mallet and ava. And it was a place where not anyone could come and, and fish. Uh, through the years, however, without any um, maintenance on the pond, it fell into despair. I think the pond historically was even bigger than this. But um, again, the uh, tsunami um, cleared it out a bit and, uh, and, is, and the tsunami helped restore it closer to its original size. But um, it's also given us the opportunity um, to work very closely with the county to improve the site. The pavilion there has been completely repainted. Um, it's all volunteers. It's community volunteers who um, people who really uh, love Kahalu and Kahalu Bay. I've been volunteering to help clean up Kahalu Bay since the tsunami happened. This is our third full day, I think, of volunteering, and I'm part of the rock crew that's helping to recreate the King's Pond wall that was destroyed during the tsunami. You gotta move this rock. It's actually really physical and wonderful and at the end of the day you feel terrific because you've been working. It's like your uh, upper body work for the week. It's great, great, great work and great people who come out from all over the island which is so cool. So you meet new people, make new friends and work as a team. It's awesome. Everybody should come and volunteer. Everything ought to falling together on pure gravity. Eh? Yeah. All gravity. So when we put this thing in, you like make sure that you either cross your teeth here. Some, some of these young, strong men are uh, um, capable of lifting heavy stones. They had no knowledge of building any rock walls, so I need to explain the process of building uh, our ancient type of rock walls. By pipe walk, we set that rock. Okay. So we this out top, the rock is leaning in. Set your next one. If you get them long, it's more strong, more garish. No mortar at all. It's a dry stack, gravity, uh, structured wall, so it's uh, it's it's passed down from our ancient um, ancestors that built many heiaus, uh, wall structures, uh, building platforms, and they use the same process of using gravity structured walls where all the rocks lean into each other, and, and as you set it. You lock it all into place with just rocks, rock on rock. Public safety number one. When have sign says, do not step on the walls, walk on the walls, or lay on the walls. But as we know, human hate nature, they go and step on the wall, walk on the wall, lay on the wall. Okay? So we have to make this solid, so we can walk on top. Okay? See like this? See this? See this corner? I can walk on my whole wall up here, no problem. I can walk right on the edge, no problem. And that's the key about making these walls for public safety. Because we live in the modern world today, not our old times. Old times, kapu, no walk on the wall. That's really, the wall wasn't built for walk on. Okay. But we know today's world different. We got to live with our world and their world. There's no numbers on the puzzles, and it's very, you know, it's, it's a rewarding, it's, uh, it's spiritual too. Uh, in the old days, we have chants that go along with uh, starting the process of building any of the ancient walls, uh, re reconstruction of ancient walls, 
Uh, what we're building today is not an ancient wall, but we're using the ancient style of building the wall. And so there's uh, chants and pulleys that go along with that. And I had that, that I've done that personally myself before I started today. Well, our goal is to finish it today. Um, we'll, we'll see how the day goes and, and how the rocks come into place. It might look like it's hard work, but it's more rewarding. And uh, to be a part of this um, rest restoration of uh, the tsunami damage and all, we, it's an honor for me to be a part of this. It's a, it's a blessing from Keokua. And I'm so happy to be here. And I'm happy that the people that came today are willing to and eager to help and learn and fulfill our goal today. The Kahalu was really one of the most important sites for Hawaiian intellectual, spiritual, and political leadership. So um, it's, uh, it's with that sense of history and with that sense of respect that we're all here to do the work that we're doing today. And we're looking to uh, create a park here, including the pond, where it, it's very respectful for the community, for the kupuna that have passed away, um, for all of the children in the future to have a place that they can come and be proud of.